hello guys welcome back once again uh, in the previous video we have seen how to create a schema and in this video we will be seeing about how to create a table alter the table and delete the table so first we will create a simple table with four columns id name email and contact so it's very simple so one way you can use the sql editor the other way you can directly use the mysql gui so from here in the tables you can right click create table for the schema which which you have to create the table so let me keep the table as table name as employee or customer so column name id right it's a primary key uh, also we can uh, say whether it's an auto increment field so next uh, name it's a backer no we can give a not actually these are nothing but constraints primary key constraints not null unique auto increment it's a generator column so zero zero filling and change data type okay next is uh, email care of uh, 50 and contact so after that what we have to do is we have to just uh, apply it okay so this will give you your generated query I'm just copying it just click on apply so after that what we can do is uh, just refresh the schema here you can see the created table id name email contact so as you see i have copied the sql query if you run this sql query it will automatically create it in similar way we can do alter command for this particular table so right click on the table name which you have to alter just click alter so as you see here i want to change the size of ACAF to 13 to 14 and also want to make it as not null then just click on apply as you see this will give you a generated uh, query so what i will do is i'm just cancelling this and I will just test this query so you can just toggle the output window over here as you can see it's updated so in similar way you can also drop the table just like drop table training dot customer the shortcut to run this particular single line query is control enter so the table is dropped so these are the different DDL statements where you can try with the uh, mysql um, in the next video we will see about insert update and delete so in the later we will see about select like regular expressions and so on thank you guys just like and subscribe